Hi everybody, I'm Mary with Cascade Sciences and the purpose of this video today is to provide a quick start guide for the Cascade Sciences cold traps. We have a couple popular configurations that I want to give you a quick rundown as to how to get up and running as quickly as possible. Do check out our manual. We have a ton of great information in there. We've got a lot of safety precautions you should be aware of, but if you want to get up and running quickly and correctly, take a look at this quick video. The first configuration for the Cascade Sciences cold trap is just our standard configuration. And you'll be able to tell it's the standard configuration because the lid is this very thick rubber insulated cap. It has two barbed inlet and outlet fittings on the top of that cap. And the trick here with this particular setup is that there's no trick. Either one of these barbs could be the inlet or the outlet. And again, they're half inch diameter. The trapping itself is going to happen inside the stainless steel reservoir on the refrigerated base unit. If you were to just purchase this cold trap standalone, it would not come with any hoses or connections, but should you need those, we have definitely got you covered. Just give us a call, let us know what you need, and we can dial that in for you. The other way that you will see the standard configuration of our cold trap come is it's often paired with our reactors. So people that are doing filter reactions, isolate reactions, we sell a turnkey system and this cold trap will come with that turnkey package. Again, the only difference is that we include the hoses and you can't screw it up. Either one can be used for the inlet, either one can be used for the outlet. So that is all you need to know with our standard configuration. Our next very popular Cascade cold trap configuration is the Max Trap. This is more often paired with a vacuum oven preferably a Cascade Sciences vacuum oven. And it's really designed for high production vacuum cold trapping. The Cascade Sciences Max traps come with this guy right here. This is the cold well. This is a stainless steel insert that goes inside the refrigerated mechanical base. This cold well has a ton of surface area inside of it for again, that, that high throughput, high production trapping. So there's a couple key things you need to do when setting up your max trap for the first time. The very, very first thing is I want you to add between 400 and 600 milliliters of a thermal transfer fluid into the stainless steel reservoir. What that does is that acts as a thermal transfer medium that gets that coldness deep inside this cold well cold trap quickly and efficiently. So that is a must do. When you are pouring your ethanol or your thermal transfer fluid into the reservoir, let's make sure that this side drain valve is closed. Don't make that mistake. Now, once you have your ethanol thermal transfer fluid in the reservoir, we are going to insert the cold well into that. Now, this is the most important part of connecting up the max trap. You will notice on the cold well, we have a tall spout and we have a short little baby spout. The short little baby spout must connect to the vacuum pump, okay? Short spout must go to the vacuum pump. Tall spout, that will go to your vacuum oven or whatever contraption you have that has your product in it that is outgassing the solvent. So, very, very important. The Max Trap comes with four feet of a KF25 connection to make that connection from the short spout to your vacuum pump. But if you need a different length, fitting modifications, do let us know. We're happy to tailor those hoses and connections to your specific process. Here is a pro tip about the cold well. Have a spare. This max trap trapping system is designed for high throughput, high production environments. And should this cold well become full or frozen, we're just gonna wanna pop it out, set it aside to defrost, drop in a freshie and just keep right on going. Another tip I'd like you to know about the cold traps is that when you turn them on, they're not gonna be instantly wicked cold. They're gonna take a little bit of time, somewhere between 20 to 40 minutes to reach that ultimate temperature. The other pro tip I have for you on this trap is that if you are outgassing something that does not get along with stainless steel, let us know because we have glass trap inserts as well and the glass will probably tolerate your acidic or corrosive application much better. Again, we do have the solution. 
We pride ourselves on tailoring it to your exact needs. So all you got to do is reach out and we will take good care of you. So that's really about it for the Cascade Sciences Cold Traps. Thank you for supporting products that are made right here in America. Cascade Sciences products and this particular cold trap are made in America. If you have any questions at all, do reach out to us and good luck out there.